So these last two carbonates that we have on our list are probably two of the most distinct, um, and they're also common Arizona minerals. So you may have seen this on a hike. Um, there's a lot of copper in the state, in residual copper. So um, malachite, and later we'll see azurite, are both copper oxidation minerals. So really common to see around copper mines or anything like that. And so the first thing that should always stand out to you with malachite is the color. It is green, just like a lot of that copper oxidation that we saw when we had our native elements and we saw a little tarnish on the copper. This is that mineral. We are oxidizing copper here. And so this green color is a dead giveaway. And I'd like you to note too that there are a variable kind of color gradient of this green like we have this chunk here that's really fair and then we have these really deep green chunks at the top here but this also commonly grows in like stalactite stalagmite forms and that's why you have these almost agate looking rings to them in the crystal growth that's really common in things like malachite and azurite that you can see if you cut them like this where you're cutting across a, that plane of growth and so all of these here there's almost no variation in color right like they're very green and if we were to streak them which we will do we should see that it would also be very green. I'm trying to find a good side here for you. So if I hold this up here, don't look at that one. We have this kind of powdery green. I've got a little green on my fingers. This kind of powdery light green, not something like I'm drawing with green chalk. It's still really fair, but that green color can help us to diagnose it versus other samples because this green streak, honestly, off the top of my head, I can't think of another mineral that has a green streak. Um, I'm trying to think. So the luster of this one, this is these last two, azurite and malachite, are the two that fall off of that vitreous luster bandwagon. And you get into things where sometimes they're a little bit more earthy, right? Like none of these samples here have beautiful gleaming crystal faces. So earthy would be a little bit more reminiscent of what we're thinking of with a malachite piece here. I'd also like you to note that the crystal growth patterns here, we have almost this like silky fibrous growth. Here's a good piece right here. Where we're growing in like this radial outward fiber type pattern. Um, this is really common to see in malachite as well as this kind of stalactite, stalagmite looking form here. These are all moderate density. Um, they do have quite a bit of copper in them, so they are probably a little bit more dense than, say, something like um, just aragonite or calcite, but it's not incredibly noticeable. We have this piece here that has kind of like an earthier growth on top of a surface here. Almost looks bubbly. This is also really common. You'll see hints that we are still in copper territory because now we have some azurite peeking through as well. They commonly grow together. And so the hardness of this, let's see what I have in my notes. I have the hardness at a 3.5 to a 4, so I should be able to scratch this with a nail. But now we have a couple different ways that the sample is growing, right? This one is much denser, um, thicker, because we're dealing with a literal rock here, um, whereas this one is more exemplary of an actual crystal. So I'm going to try to give this a scratch, and we'll see what we get. I don't want to damage these samples either. Very easy to powderize. So this one here, quite easy to powderize. Um, and this lack of beautiful, oh, there's a good example of that fibrous growth. And um, these are good examples of things that don't necessarily form beautiful crystals all the time. It's quite rare to find a really nice crystal. Honestly, I've never seen one of malachite. We will see one with azurite, but for me, the two diagnostic things about malachite is one, its color, as well as its streak color. That reproduction of the green on the streak plate is really important. The cleavage, not apparent. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have cleavage, but it's not something that's apparent on any of these samples. Not going to help you diagnose this. Or if you're looking for cleavage and you don't see it, there you go. That'll help you. Um, 
I think we covered all the bases except for effervescence. And we did just scratch this piece here with the nail, so we'll give it a go and see. Ooh, we did have a tiny bit of reaction, but now I want you all to notice that we have this kind of yellow mineralization on the outside here. So it's likely that what just fizzed there was actually a small piece of calcite or some other kind of carbonate because they're all growing together. Let's do that same test on this sample where we have this really nice crystal surface here. Let's give it a go. Not a gosh darn thing. And this is really typical too, especially with the carbonate family, where you'll find a piece that maybe has more effervescence than another, but that can relate to just having multiple carbonates in one sample. And I think we have covered everything. The crystal system of malachite is monoclinic. Um, and there you have it, the green mineral.